Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. We are on board a beautiful 2003 Vicky 32 Flybridge Cruiser today. Um, this is a boat that we previously sold actually a couple of times. Um, most recently we sold it at the beginning of the 2022 season, so two seasons ago to the current owners and the boat has now come back on the market uh, due to a change in circumstances. This is like an update video today. So it is uh, it's sort of middle of November, 2023. The boat's just arrived here at our normal marina uh, at Inver on Loch Erin, um, County Fermanagh. And we're gonna take a quick walk through the boat just to update you on the condition. I did a full video tour whenever we last sold the boat in 2022. So you can check all that video footage out from then. And the boat has changed very little. The most notable difference is that it now has 659 hours on the clock as opposed to 570. So the owners have had good use from it in the last two seasons, but they've decided to sell. Their their, um, their circumstances have changed a wee bit. The boat is now a three owner boat and it's still a freshwater only example. It has only ever been used in freshwater from you. Beautiful boat, 10 meters long, single Yanmar 240 horsepower shaft drive, diesel engine, very low maintenance and uh, lovely. Uh, four four berths and two cabins downstairs and, the, and the, the possibility of converting a double berth up here as well so we could potentially sleep six people has the flybridge lovely timber work throughout as well lovely teak decks and a nice rich blue hull so we're going to take a walk around the boat now to show you the condition that it's in here at the end of november 2023 and hopefully help you to figure out whether this might be the right boat for you so i'm not going to do a full sort of features walk around because we did all that on this boat previously um but what we will do is update you on the sort of current condition of it so it is the end of the season but it's still looking really good nice shine to the gel coat boot stripe looks nice and smart corners on the stern are still in good condition teak work full teak cockpit or yeah teak cockpit and teak uh, swim platform and walk around teak decks all the way around all in very good condition so Everything looks good up along the uh, starboard side. Covers are still in good shape. These were made for, brand new for the boat in uh, 2021, as far as I remember. Stern corner on the port side is in good shape as well. And then the hull along the starboard side is in good, is good condition. A couple of wee light fender rub marks here and there, but that's to be expected you can sort of get that every season you have to polish those out again but the actual general condition of the hull is very good a couple of wee minor scuffs here i think they were on that before as well um now the teak work it's it's this is not a great time of year for, for video and boats unfortunately because it gets dark very early and it also rains almost incessantly but it has stopped raining for a couple of hours but the, the four deck hasn't the time to dry out completely this was there was like an old coating of varnish on the uh, teak capping whenever the we previously sold the boat and as part of the deal we took all that varnish off and it was oil so it's back to sort of natural teak so it will you know it, it brightens up a wee bit whenever it dries out completely you can see there you know if you want to it just depends how much maintenance you want to put into it but all the varnish was taken off all the teak's in great condition you can give it a light sand and get it back to this sort of nice browny colour or you can just let it grey as it uh, would naturally but that was done to sort of match it in with the rest of the deck so I think that capping is nicer looking than it was whenever we previously advertised it you can see uh, in underneath the covers you can see how, how it came up whenever it was originally done screen wraps have just left those on um, because we've all lights on inside it's not that bright outside anyway gel coats all in good condition the teak deck in itself is in very good shape it's all nice and solid. Anchor windlass with foot switches. All in good condition as well. Stainless steel bow rails. Nice stainless steel cleats with these uh, wire plates to stop the, the wood chafing on the, or sorry, the rope chafing on the wood. And then the walk around on the starboard side. Horns, search light, stainless steel handrails. Vicky 32 badges and the flybridge tonneau cover just all in the pretty much the same condition so you see that it's a bit drier here on this side we'll get a bit, a bit of sun maybe it's um the teak does look smart if you wanted to 
you could give the capping a bit of a sand just to bring it back. Put a wee bit of colour back into it again. But yeah, all in good shape. Stepping on board then. Very easy boat to get on on and off. This is a, one of the big selling points of these Vickies is you step on, easily step on from either side or the stern. Just a tiny little lip, no steps. You're straight into the aft cockpit, so it's very accessible boat. You've got the sliding patio doors into the saloon all on the same level as well, and just two or three steps down into the, the cabin area. So it is a very accessible kind of a boat. You know, if you're if you find it difficult to get up onto the side deck of an aft cabin cruiser or something, and you want to go for something a bit smaller, they are a nice boat to manage. They're very easy to handle as well with the single shaft and bow thruster. Very easy to manage. So in here, all looks really smart as well. Takes in great shape. The upholstered uh, bench seat there, good condition. You can see here where we've the teak has been done and just brought back, just oiled with a nice natural colour. And obviously in behind the covers, it wears a lot better than it does whenever it's out exposed to the elements. But um, it doesn't take much to bring the, the teak back up to that all the way around the, the boat if you want to. Covers are in good shape, good condition. Got our downliners here on the uh, overhang from the uh, flybridge. You've got your ladder with teak steps going up there. We'll try and poke our heads up there in a wee second, have a look. We do have these little lights as well, so if you got if you take the covers off, that eliminates more of the aft cockpit. I'll poke up, poke my head up there, and show you underneath the covers and the flybridge as well, and then we'll take a look in the. So, because I am losing light, I'm not going to take the covers off here, but you can see the flybridge is all laid and teak as well. There we go. So the seat is in good condition, and you've got the little cover on the dash, keeps all the instruments and things in good shape, and the teak up here all the way around. All nice and neat and tidy. I mean, it is only, it's only uh, two seasons, like a year and a half since we last sold it and last videoed it. So as you would expect, it's in basically the same condition. Coming into the saloon, this is just that the owner has just left it for the winter. So he has his dehumidifier running. The doors are all obviously closed. The All the cupboards and things and lockers and downstairs doors are all left open which is perfect for keeping the boat nice and fresh and dry. Um, but yeah, upholstery is in great shape. This has been re-upholstered around the bottom. From memory, this was uh, this was in quite poor condition where uh, people had been sort of feet catching it and things like that. So that's all been re-upholstered. So that's all in beautiful shape. Nice beige leatherette or leather upholstery. Looks really smart. Nice matching cushion set, nice fabric seat bases so it's nice and warm and cozy you got all the original vicky curtains all in great condition your stereo back there the timber work is all in good shape as well it always it had this little there was a previous leak that was repaired so it discolored the the uh, timber there slightly underneath the starboard side window but it hasn't changed in the last two years so there is no there are no current leaks to my to my knowledge dash is all in good condition Engine hours are currently 659. They were 570 when we last sold it, so two seasons. So the owner has put up, um, you know, good number of hours. It, ha it has had some good use, which is always better for a boat than sitting around doing nothing, you know. Little doors open there into the battery isolator compartment. It is immaculately clean, to be fair. The owners have done a really good job on keeping it neat and tidy, and here's immaculate. And it's a beautiful, rich finish on, on all the timber work. Two burner gas hob, st uh, stainless steel sink. This lid folds down, it's all in really nice condition as well. I had a peek down in there. Fridge has been emptied out and has, as I said, has been left open to air. Cupboards have all been left open and been decluttered. So the boat is, is very seriously for sale. The owners are no longer using it. That wee extendable worktop counter thing as well is in great condition. Storage underneath the helm seat. Helm seat itself and matching upholstery with a stainless steel handrail around it that works as a grab rail. Everything really does look apart. This was always, I've sold a few Vicky 32s over the years, 
this one was was always the nicest one um, and it has been really well kept you've got your shore power control panel here as i said i'm not going to go through everything because i did all that on the previous video so you can easily go back and check that video out you'll see how everything works you'll see all the equipment that's on board um, and I'm, the owner tells me that everything is still working and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that that is the case. Electric anchor, one of those trim tabs, bow thruster controls. He has the seacocks closed there as well for winter storage. Chart table area here and then a beautiful cabin area which is just three steps down into that forward companionway. So first of all, on the port side, you have your heads compartment. So pump out, jab school, sea toilet little uh, sink and vanity unit, open and port light. That, the sink head comes out and you can use it as a shower. You've got this nice teak grate on the floor. So when, it, when it, the water drains down in there, it's pumped overboard. Got a storage underneath and the door in beautiful condition. So that is a nice spacious head compartment as well. Actually properly big, a heads compartment and shower compartment that, that you can use if you're away for extended stays on the water and then up forward we have our owner's master cabin twin berth on the center line of the keel with access on both sides so you don't have to disturb your partner when you're getting in out of bed teak work is beautiful all the way throughout teak flooring all the chair the sort of deep rosewood is it um Woodwork's all beautiful. All the curtains are in nice condition as well. No leaks or damage or stains or anything around all the portholes or the timber. All the woodwork's in great shape. All the way around. Same on this side. All the original Vicky mattress covers and curtains and things. This door's secured there. And then the owner had this locker open actually for the air and out as well illuminated lockers so all in great shape in the forward master cabin and then you've got your guest cabin or bunk bed cabin in here as well on the starboard side so two bunk berths perfect for kids or guests you've got your overhead lights you've also got your reading lights at the head of each of the, the beds little bedside locker here We've got these little uh, dehumidifiers, the sort of desk and salt dehumidifiers in all the cabins as well, which is always a good sign. That hinge seems a wee bit sticky, so I'm not going to push that too much. And then you've got your mosquito nets in there. Again, all the mattress protectors are all in great shape. No leaks. All the timber is perfect. It's, and it's nice and dry as well. The whole boat is nice and dry all the way through it. Just going to knock these lights off now while we're in here so yeah excellent layout for a 10 meter hull they really do pack in an incredible amount of space i'll leave that door open before i leave as well so there you go so yeah the owners have really looked after this boat well so this is how it's looking now at the end of november 2023 engine room access is via this panel in the floor of the saloon. This has obviously been protected with that mat, so there's no damage on the floor. It's all in perfect condition as well. And just lift this hatch up. It's very easy to access. You don't have to move anything out of the way. It just lifts up on that gas strut and you get great access around the Yanmar 240 horsepower engine. Again, I did a full tour of this engine room when uh, we previously videoed the boat in 2022, the start of the 2022 season. Um, and the engine has been regularly serviced as well by the current owner so all still in great condition nice and dry and the bilges engine room lights and things in there it's a really neat installation and then there's your laserette back there as well so plenty of room in the laserette and lit up as well you can also access that laserette the aft end of it via this um hatch in the floor of the cockpit as well so again just as nice behind the scenes this boat has always been as nice behind the scenes as it is on the surface so there you go engine room still looking great just on that subject of sort of checking out the bilges let's while we're here have a look forward bilge 
forward bilge pump. He's even got an air freshener down there in the bilge. All in immaculate condition, totally bone dry. And underneath here, that's your holding tank. Shower sump pump and things. And again, everything's looks perfect there. Seat cocks and everything. There's like, there is actually a full survey from when this boat was sold in uh, at the beginning of the 2022 season as well. So I'm sure we could, the owner would be happy to share that survey with you if you're interested in the boat. So there you go. That's the uh, the Vicky 32 2003 boat, single Yanmar shaft drive engine, 659 hours on the clock, still in beautiful condition as it was when we last sold it, and. Um, it's ready to go to your new owners. It's very seriously for sale. Um, if you're interested in the boat, if you want any reason to come and have a look at it, if you've got any questions about it, or if you'd like to make an offer, um, please don't hesitate to get in touch. The best way to do that is by calling me on the number at the top of our webpage, or you can send me an email to sales at gulfstreamshop.com, or you can fill out the callback request form on this page of our website, and I'll contact you at a time that's convenient. Um, yeah, beautiful, Vicky 32 Flybridge. Um, and very seriously for sale at the minute. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you find it useful.